The vision for the Reeves House is to transform it into the heart of the Arts Village. All right, well, we're here today with Juanita Hughes with Preservation Woodstock. Um, Juanita, could you tell me a little bit about the Reeves House, a little bit of the history? Sure. Uh, they say the Reeves House was built in 1897, which is an interesting year in Woodstock because that is the same year the city charter was granted by the state legislature. So it became a city the same year the Reeves family built the house. It was Sam and Carrie Reeves, and they married that year. The house was uh, on 14 acres, and it was what we call an in-town farm, which was not unusual at the time because each family was self-supporting. Uh, they grew their own um, vegetables and fruits and had cows and chickens and just like a farm, a big farm. But there were others just like this uh, scattered around throughout the area. Uh, the city at that time was not um, a metropolitan area. Um, it was probably 300 people and it was a small town. There were um, a couple of churches close by and at the time the house was built there were no schools in the area. So the family, um, some of the Reeves family is still in the area today. <laughs> is envisioned as the kind of place where artists and creative spirits of all types will come together and really make it beautiful. There's a variety of ways this can happen. You can see a small example behind us. The boards over the windows of the old house have been decorated in a community event collaboratively by many different people of all ages and all different artistic levels. Um, surrounding this house are four acres of grounds where we will see outdoor sculptures, a fitness trail with artwork on it. We'll see gardens. There will be culinary area where chefs and other types of creative cooks will come together and um, experiment with their artistic endeavors in a culinary sense. And on the porch of the old house, we see things like um, bluegrass fiddle bands or improv actors, maybe even reenacting the history of the family that built this house. This is an example of what happens when you invite art into a community and the community is transformed. 